the second episode of RSR Happy! Boom, 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 boom. Starting us off, we have the Value Champion Awards, which were held in June to celebrate our winners. We ran the Values campaign for a couple of months now, and champions were chosen by you all. But now we have acting CEO Musa to just share with us how he felt about the whole process, you know, and the actual event today. So Musa, please, take it away. <laughs> No, I thought it's, <clears throat> as I said down there, it's very important that we acknowledge our employees. Our employees are our central assets, being a regulator, and we must make sure we engage them appropriately. Remember, we have stated definitively that our intention is to build an excellent organization. You guys were amazing! Amazing, amazing, amazing. How are you feeling right now? about the win. Wow, 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 Zanele. Um, I think overall we're just excited to be recognized by our peers in the organization. It holds more value, you know, when you are recognized by people that you work with on a daily basis. Uh, for me to keep this portfolio of fairness, uh, it's always making sure that I keep in touch with the people. Uh, those are the people who form uh, the bloodstream of the business. So I must keep in touch with them, uh, always check my attitudes. My heart is full, full of joy, full of excitement because the voters have spoken and the voters have laid upon me the heavy burden of responsibility which I accept with gratitude and humility, which humility is a virtue to be imitated. Next up, internal auditing show us they have guts by bringing Broadway to RSR. June was Internal Audit Awareness Month and they gave it a little twist. Hi Lunga, it's Tembi here from Internal Audit. Lunga, um, as per our approved Internal Audit plan, your department has been selected for us to come and do an audit. Uh, now? The time has come, my dear. We are coming over to your office right away. Okay. We're being audited! Uh, 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 no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, what did you do? I need it really. Oh, I No, 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 we are not watchdogs. Mm -hmm. We are simply here to assist you with the business, to evaluate your controls, and to see if they're working as you had planned for them to work. As auditors, we're not here to police you. We're simply here to improve the regulator's operations by giving you suggestions and to make sure that any business risks and control weaknesses that may interfere with the organization's objectives are detected early so that they can be corrected. Internal auditing, your partners in your journey towards achieving a clean administration. We interrupt this programming for the following breaking news. This just in, the country has literally been on fire with all the looting that has been happening. Now this has meant that a lot of companies have had to close their doors and the RSR was not exempt from that. With me, I have our acting CEO, Muso, and our media and communications executive, Madeleine. Muso, I'm going to direct this question to you. You know, the country has been in mayhem. How has the RSR been affected by this? Morning, everyone. Uh, the most direct way we've been affected is that we've had to close our head office in Waterfall and Gauteng 
and our Eastern Regional Office in Durban being the two most affected areas by the looting. On the fortunate side, in line with our COVID return to office plan, most of our employees had already been working from home. So this is just a continuation of what we've been doing for the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, I think all of us have been watching the horrific scenes on TV of the looting that seems to not come to an end. It's so much on the news that uh, I even got to the point where I figured I'd just watch cartoons and stop watching the news. Uh, but hopefully we've seen on a positive turn, a cleanup campaign has started. South Africans are coming together, standing up against the looting and those acts of vandalism. And hopefully we can move forward as a country. Mm. Madeleine, now I know that we had a lot of plans that we had scheduled, but of course the riots have impacted that. So where are we now? Good morning, everyone. Um, yes, indeed, we had a couple. We, we had a couple of plans. Um, we wanted to roll out the CI to be specific. We have been building this up. Everyone in the organization would know for some time now. I think more than a month we've been talking about it. Um, so what's happening currently has definitely had a great impact on that. We therefore decided that um, we will have to change things slightly. When we initially started talking about the rollout of the CI, we wanted to have this big bang approach where we flip a switch and everything would have changed from the old to the new. But given that we are relying on service providers to do things like um, manufacture signage for us to, to come and fix it to the buildings. There's some painting that we're going to have to do to get rid of um, the old corporate colors, um, things. So, so, so there's a lot more that um, we have to do where we have to rely on others. So the approach will change slightly in that we'll have a phased in approach of the, the new CI. So instead of everything being in place on Friday, it will now happen over a period. Um, I am I'm a bit uh, hesitant to say that it will be done by a certain time because where we stand now, service providers can't even give us assurances, but we are hoping that everything will be in place by the 1st of September. So as you are aware, we, we wanted to have a, a little bit of an event on Friday the 23rd, mm. but we've now decided to change Friday the 24th, uh, sorry, the 23rd to a soft launch meaning that instead of um, streaming the event, we will do things electronically, but um, not in the form of an event. But we'll then leave the celebration part for later. And we are looking at the 1st of September because we are thinking that by then we would have maybe again, uh, we would have gotten a handle on COVID. And um, everything that we are experiencing now would be a distant memory. Um, as part of that celebration, we'll be um, formally uh, launching, if we, we want to call it a launch, but celebrating the fact that um, we have transitioned from the old to the new. We will also um, be having our award ceremony on that day and um, also celebrate the fact that we have a clean audit. Muso, one more question for you. How can we as RSR employees make sure that things run smoothly? Small repeatable steps. Uh, that's what we need to focus on. In the last financial year, we achieved 100% performance. So employees have shown us that they have become more productive in this period of working from home small repeatable steps perfect thank you so much you heard it small repeatable steps thank you